Hello guys, the sun men. Luckily today we're not filming a beauty video. We are doing clean with me. My room is a pig sty. First and foremost, I think I'm going to start by putting away my perfumes up on my shelves and just try to make that area start looking pretty. We've got the wardrobe to tackle. I might put away my jewelry and then I might tackle like the bench tops last like putting away makeup last just because i feel like if i organize the jewelry and i put some perfumes away it'll give me instant gratification whereas if i just tidy up the makeup i'll get exhausted and then i will once again just not put away all of the fragrances and that's like really what i want to get accomplished so this video is going to be a mishmash we're just gonna clean tidy organize i have no idea how far we're gonna go and i'll probably film this over the next couple of days because i'm filming this now while porter is having a nap so Let's just see what we can get done. Kind of excited. I don't know, I've been putting this off for the longest time because I've just been enjoying filming other things. But I really want to do this and clean the space, get rid of all the recycling, put away all the rest of the stuff that I haven't put away since moving into this house before we start doing like other makeup declutters in our drawers, which I really want to do as well. So let's get started. So all of my fragrances are woo, in here. This is how I moved them to this house. Well, not all of the fragrances. I do have some in my bathroom, you know, upstairs, but I don't know. I might take some of these upstairs too, because I feel like I'll use them more. You know, I don't come into this beauty room every single day because, you know, I just don't have time to do my makeup every day. But it's more so just for decor, you know. We've got all this stuff so far, which you can see makes no sense. Like half it's just shoved up here for storage. And this end here, you pretty much on camera can only see like this area this area and maybe a little bit of this area by the time like it's in the background of my videos so I think that's kind of what we're going to focus on but I still want the rest to look pretty just for myself. I think I'll just mess around with some like displays and I don't know we'll just see what happens. Hopefully you can see kind of okay. I think I'm going to start on this side. I really like what I've got going on just here. I love all the pink tones so I think we're going to kind of focus on those pink tones. I was originally going to fill up this jar with sponges don't really know if I want to do that or not. It could look cute or it could look awkward. I need a whole lot more, but cute or nah? You tell me. I have more. Remember when I was setting up this room, I got these cases from Kmart and I thought I could use them to almost, you know, be a little stand to put fragrances on to like create some layered effects. So I'm gonna pop this one maybe up here and then I can like put stuff on top of it, you know what I mean? I also wanted to display so beauty stuff up here because I'm proud of my brand and just like for myself, you guys won't really see it, but almost just like a little shop. So I think I need to like get some more EXO Beauty stuff to display. I have some in my room actually. Let me go grab it. I don't actually really know if any of this will be suitable to really display, but we've got heaps of new stuff in here. Look, for now I'm just gonna start unpacking the perfumes and popping them just up. Um, I do want to show you like this side, like I said, that's what you can see in videos, but I just can't reach my camera over there while it's connected to my computer. I'm going to grab my microfiber cloth and just like give them a quick dust as we go. Coffee is needed today. Oh, I really don't want to be in this video, like, look like a toe, but whatever. As I'm doing this, feel free to ask questions about any of the perfumes I have or... You know, if you've got any questions about recommendations and things, feel free to comment them down below and I'll do my best to answer. Because every time I show my collection, I always get questions about like fragrances, recommendations, favourites, like all of those types of things. So ask away. That's what I'm here for. I'm pretty sure this was my wedding perfume. How bad is it that I can't remember? But I think it was. <laughs> I think I got it in Paris. I do have a second bottle somewhere. It's the Galan Mongolan Floral. It's stunning. It'd be helpful if I could get it to focus, wouldn't it? There you go. It's filthy. Why did it get so dirty? None of the others are like this. This one might have to go into my bathroom because it's just... It's not looking stunning. I mean, it's barely... It's got like nothing in there, Shan. Jeez. You know what? This is still one of my favourite perfumes in the whole world. That is such a millennial fragrance, I swear. One layer down. Just a few more to go. To be honest, I hate this packaging, but it smells so, so good. Maybe I'll display these with the boxes. 
I'll just keep them inside for now. Cute. I've got some travel atomizers. I'll put those in my drawer. Those are handy. This is another millennial pick, I swear to God. <laughs> and do you know what? Some of these fragrances, like this one, are probably like eight years old. Let me smell it. Nah, dude, that still smells amazing. Don't ask me how. I try to put them out of direct sunlight, but I mean, they still saw the sun. I don't know. They smell great. Oh, that brings me memories. This girl's seen better days. The label's like peeling off so I might just put that in my upstairs bathroom I don't actually know if I like that smell anymore my mum got it like me and my mum like the same kind of perfumes and it reminds me of her now which isn't a bad thing like my mum smells incredible it's <laughs> such a weird thing to say but um you know it just reminds me of her so like when I spray it, it I don't know I don't think that's my vibe here we go here's another Mon Galan so I'll put that other one in my bathroom and I'll just um keep the full one on display this is so so old I bought this in Sephora in LA I don't even know when like 2015 or something I love the packaging it's so cute is this brand still around sorry that's wobbly I'm focusing my camera is this brand still a thing we're almost at the end another millennial pick I know it's not exclusive to millennials hello I'm just taking the piss like everyone my age wore this can you guys comment below let me know what the perfume of your youth was <laughs> or if you're young like what's the it perfume right now i feel like this is just my opinion i feel like it's this it was elijah like i feel like this is the current it perfume i don't know i could be wrong this is another one that reminds me of being 18. this was one of my first favorite perfumes my mum bought it for me for like my 16th birthday or something like that this one isn't from then <laughs> i obviously went through that one but um i've had this one for years as well i wonder if it's still any good Mm, it still smells like it's supposed to, but it's a little bit alcoholy. We might just use it for display, um, for decoration, or I might get rid of it. We'll see if it fits in with the theme. I don't really know what the theme is, but you know. I ended up giving mum the pink Valentino when we moved, because that was like her favourite perfume, me and her. Like I said, we had the same <laughs> favourites, but I kept the blush, this one. It's like a peachy one. I think I got this in um, Paris as well. Pink one's better than this, I reckon. Oh, did I get this one in PR? Maybe I got this one in PR. I've bought so many of them, but I've given them away as well. <laughs> this is the thing, like I always give my friends and my family like heaps of my perfume, so I can never remember where, what comes from where. This one's fairly new. And we just have a little travel perfume, which I might put in the car or something. Okay, now I need to like assemble this in some way. Man, I just, I don't know. I know my camera angle's like all cooked. My tripod I would normally use for this kind of thing, I've lost the adapter that goes on my camera, so that's good. And I love this glasshouse candle, the packaging is unreal. This is actually a Taha Affair, which is like one of my favourites. Now the Barbie one probably looks better. Love. I'm really bad at this. Fire out, man. I think I'm just going to put like packaging and stuff on the top two rows, like pretty boxes and PR and stuff I get seen because obviously I want to be able to reach perfumes and things. Sorry the brightness. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay whatever. I'm just gonna start diving in and grabbing colours that look cute together. I removed my camera from my computer so you can see the side better. This is what I was thinking of using those for, you know? Do I kind of like space them out a little bit? I need something taller over there. Trying to like mix round with square. <laughs> I wish I had the um, cap for this. I don't know where it is. I'm sorry about the lighting guys. I don't like the black with that shelf. Maybe I could put this one at the back somewhere. You can get little like tiered shelves too, but I don't think it'll fit in this um, like space like height wise there's a bit of a mix of like silver pink and gold here but 
I don't mind it. What do I do on the right side though? I did have eyeshadow palettes. Like I would set them up like that. Maybe I could just do some hot pink stuff on the other side. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like by the time we do a lot of other shelves, it's a lot more cohesive. I know like putting gold and stuff next to the pink doesn't really look right, but if I put some like hot pink up in this one, you know, it'll just like draw your eye around the place, which I think is important. Let's give it a go and see how it looks. I think the sponges could look cool if it was fuller. So, okay, here... This matches so well with the perfumes just on the other side, you can kind of see. And I like that, kind of like transitions over and I'm going to leave this glass house candle there. Whoops, I'm knocking the friggin' camera. Do I do the blacks and then the hot pinks above? So I've got a lot of black tones. Let me just kind of like, like look, that's got hot pink and black. Does that go up there? I don't know. Let's just play around. This one suits this area. Do I just do all of Kayali up here? And I know this is Rogue, but with a Hello Kitty. One of my followers bought me this in a meetup. Here have the gold. So I could move the gold over there, like with all the M. I need another little ramp. What did I call them? <laughs> I was gonna put that in the other, like in my bathroom, but I don't know, do we just do something like that? It's kind of cool. And then maybe the peachy pinks up here. Goes with my brush packaging. Is it gonna fall? I mean, if there's an earthquake, 100%. We have gold, stunning, and then like the hot pink hair, which we will draw into that. We'll do that next and then up top that kind of goes with that you know pinky slightly golden slightly silver vibes and then we're going to organize this for the black <sighs> the black is throwing me off should i be putting the black up here i don't know let's just see how it looks once we you know what it would look good next to the sponges because the sponges are pink and black okay let's see like i wanted to clean my whole room in this video but I might have to film this video and split it into two parts, depending how long this is, because I feel like it's already so long and we're just like stuffing about. But I don't know, I'm just going with the flow. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching. Maybe in some of the other parts I won't talk so much, so we'll get through it quicker. We'll see. Either way, I'll if I'm doing two parts, I'll upload them close together so you're not like waiting ages. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Switching all these. Okay. All ready. Loving the black away from this. We've got the sponges. I can go to work and get some more. We've got like heaps of second sponges, which I still use, but we don't sell. Like just if they're a bit squashed, like if the point's not perfect. I don't know. We've got like, you know, we obviously make sure like customers are receiving the best of the best. Oh, I wish I could get my tripod higher for you. It's such an awkward angle. I'm so sorry. Maybe if we go further back, <laughs> I can zoom in. All right. Okay. The vision. The vision is there. I feel like I could find a nicer jug. Like it's not the prettiest container, but I mean, it doesn't really matter once it's like full to the brim. I feel like it'd be okay. I have these, which I bought to put like cotton tips and stuff in, but I just don't need this many. So I'm gonna pop them upside down as little pedestals. This one does not belong. So I might put this in my bathroom. I'm just gonna see if it, oh. Yeah, that still smells amazing. Oh, I've got this one too, which has red on it. We're really throwing a spanner in the works. And the one I like to pair with it, they kind of go together. What can we do? This is an oil. I don't have the actual perfume version. I like to put on the oil and then put this on top. It's amazing. Oh, this is really screwing me up. It's gonna have to go somewhere else. I don't know. Oh, shit, where does this one go? This shelf. Do you reckon there's people whose jobs it is to do this type of thing for people, for like rich people? Because I could use that. <laughs> Loki a dream job though. Like that'd be a fun job, but I'd be useless at it, as you can tell. I've got this I could use as a pedestal as well. 
Um, because I kind of am not loving this. Let's try it. Nah, it's too high. There's too much of like a gap in here. I'd have to use like way taller perfumes. It's not right. It's so not right. Let's steal this one. I'm really having trouble with this one. No, this is going in my upstairs bathroom. Let's mess around with this. I'm not super happy with how this is looking, but I feel like we're getting there. I mean, that's not as bad. I feel like we need something next to the sponges and I don't really know. Oh, this color is so stunning. That's like a deep cherry red. Pretty. I really want the pistachio one. You know, the Kaali pistachio. I mean, that doesn't look terrible if I have them off to the side, the red one. Okay. But what about this? Love the scent, but it's just, it doesn't go anywhere. Is this another one for my bathroom? Like I say, maybe once the, um, the sponge jar is full, I don't know. Should I just fill it up with black sponges or should I mix? I don't know. Here's where we're at. I mean, it looks pretty. I'm not perfectly happy with it, but... We're getting there and those are the ones that you'll see in the background mostly not even the whole thing but you know a little bit okay i'm gonna start i don't even know i don't know what to put on the other ones like i said i wanted to display exo beauty stuff but i don't have it so let's start putting away some jewelry maybe because i've had this huge box right here full of jewelry just sitting here for ages and i will set up some lighting but i'm thinking of putting the jewelry in them. This is the walk-in wardrobe that's like behind me. Let's start doing that. I think this is where I want it. Yep. This top drawer is going to be impossible for you to see what I'm doing because like once again I can't get my tripod high enough. So we'll do some fast forward sounds here and I'll just kind of organize it. These are obviously left here from the builders. You're joking. <gasps> I can squish them in. Sorry it's really dark. Okay, I kind of fixed the lighting. So there's like a little gap at the front. Can you see? But like, that's fine. And how good I can fit so many trays into one drawer. So I only have to use a couple of drawers for jewelry, which means I've got so much space for like sunglasses and things like that. By the way, in here, all I've got is a few jackets and stuff, which I need to kind of take upstairs. And then most of my shoes are still in storage. Because <laughs> I ain't wearing high heels at the moment. And I've got some like of my designer bags and stuff. Yeah, there's not a lot in here. So I'm just going to like organize my jewelry a little bit how can i show you this i really just can't really show you this is annoying maybe this will make me like my jewelry again if i can like organize it all nicely i'm just like putting them into appropriate containers and I want this whole drawer to be just earrings so I'm just pulling out all of the um like bracelets and necklaces that are in here randomly and some of these are so not in style anymore but I don't want to just dump them out because everything always comes back into style and sometimes I'm doing a certain shoe or a certain sponsorship or something and certain things just like fit the vibe um and I've caught myself out in the past some of this stuff's broken probably from the move like that's broken so I'll put some stuff out too but that's kind of what I'm doing here but I'm just going to fast forward this so you can enjoy some fast forward sounds even if you can't perfectly see everything I'm going to kind of split them into like gold and silver too and I'll show you an overview once I am done I've got some random like charms from earrings I'm going to put in here too. They just kind of thread onto hoops. Oh my god, I used to love these earrings. I used to wear them all the time. I've got 
a bunch of stuff in my two Louis Vuitton like makeup bags. And I just found a couple more little pairs here too. So these are like the earrings that I just put like charms on. My gold are definitely going to spill over. Those are tarnished AF. Those are yuck. Oh, that one's broken. Oh, I can fix that. Fixed it. Honestly, where am I going to put all of this? I'm arguably making a bigger mess uh, now than I had before. Okay, I think I'm just going to commit to a second gold drawer. Is this thing going to fit? We've got room for one more pair. We'll do my beloved snake pair. Okay, next drawer. I'll show you an overview once we're done. You should be able to see better with this one. Let me just change the angle. Random baby proofing. We're gonna have to clean these out. Why does this one not wanna fit? Ugh. Lots of silver in here. Um, I think I will take just this tray and put just all my silver stuff in here out of the way. You can see all these hair clips. I need to put them, I'll just put them in one of my, this thing for now. These are mostly hair clips and hair ties. Remember when hair clips were a thing for like, I don't know, a solid year? Like those ones that say girl on them and stuff. Okay, so those gold ones are fine. Got some rings we'll put aside. I am seeing a few pairs of earrings here that I like, which is good. Because if you watched my last video, I was like raging because I was like, I just hate everything I own. Of course there would be a lash <laughs> stuck in here. Is that all the silver? I think so. What the heck are these? They're obviously broken, but like, <laughs> what the? I'm liking the look of these. Let's see if I can get one of these out. Ugh. Okay, I have a few like odd earrings, so I'm gonna put them in the top left section so I can see if I can find the pairs because I have seen them out and about. There we go, I found a few pairs, so I'll just push the ones that don't have a pair yet over to the side. That one found a pair. I think I'm gonna buy some more of these. I think they make sunglasses ones. Um, so I've got so many pairs of sunglasses and struggle to display them. I used to have a stand, but that'd get so dusty and it was just a pain in the ass. So yeah, I want. A better solution. Alright, I think I'm going to try and fit all of my earrings into obviously this and then the one under for silver and colourful earrings. And then rings and necklaces and things. I'm thinking of getting something to hang my necklaces on I can drill into my wall. Like into the wardrobe wall. I found the other earring of this. These are so pretty. They were an option for my wedding that I didn't end up wearing. We've still got space for gold earrings here as well but... It's looking pretty good. For now, I've just hung up all of my necklaces on my coat hangers. I'll show you in a second. Apologies for the very awkward angle. Okay. I think I'm going to use a small, a large, and then two, like, mediums. If I've got another medium. Do I have another medium? I don't actually think I do. Alright, we'll just stick with two smalls for now. There's so much random stuff in all of these. I'm just going to... <laughs> tip those out. This is going to be a mishmash, mix mash, mishmash. Get in there. Look, these are the hair um, clips I was talking about. Damn. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm going to remove all of it, the hair clips. I won't throw them out, but I'll find somewhere else to put those eventually. And there's like lots of rings. Um... So we'll just, I don't know, we'll filter through here. We'll get it. We'll get there. And I've got some like gold earrings I can see in here. So I'm just going to fast forward this and you can just kind of see what I'm doing. I'll explain it at the end. I 
I'm gonna put the odd earrings down the bottom. Hopefully we can find their pairs. Oh, we've got some gold Swarovski as stunners. So I'll pop these up here. I'm gonna put that here because I feel like that's more suitable for most earrings that are gonna end up being here. I've got four leftover trays but I don't really need them. Um, if I'm gonna put my rings and stuff elsewhere like I don't know I could always just chuck rings in here. And where this other earring went? I think it might be on my desk even. Okay so We've got silver and colourful earrings over here. Haven't found the pairs to these ones, so we'll keep an eye out. I might just remove them for now. So I'll throw them away if I can't find the pairs. You know, as soon as I throw them out though, that's when I'll find their siblings. So yeah, bottom drawer and then that is the gold and then more gold. So most of them are kind of up the top here. I'll darken it a little so you can see. Man, that draw's satisfying got heaps of room for some more stuff. I was actually going to go and buy some little new earrings because I haven't bought any accessories in a very long time like pre-porter probably like two years so I might just buy like a few earrings that I like to wear currently which are like smaller hoops. You can see most of them are bigger. I want more like I guess this kind of vibe and maybe a little bit bigger than that like this kind of size so I might see if I can find some new ones but they'll go there some more earrings. Yeah, it looks good. And then how many more drawers do I have? I've got two more drawers, so I'll probably put sunglasses down there. And then if I spin you around, it's going to be dark. Hold on one second. I have all of these drawers over the side too. Currently, they're pretty much empty. I've got a couple of clutches in some. And then you can see I start putting some bags up there, not nicely whatsoever. And some like shoes up here. I might put shoes all over these four. I can also fit like shoe storage down there. This is how I've hung up my necklaces for the time being. But I was thinking that wall there could be really good for like a little earring holder situation and I can also put shoes I don't wear very often up top or I could put sunglasses and stuff down there I don't know yet maybe that would make more sense just so that like I don't have to bend all the way down but I just wanted jewelry here because this is right next to the doorway I just feel like jewelry is the thing I'm coming in here for the most I don't have like a lot of watches and things but I'll probably pop some watches in there too and I'm gonna move a lot of clothing into this wardrobe that I just wear for YouTube videos and I'm gonna try and keep all of the clothing upstairs in my you know bedroom wardrobe just clothes I wear in real life because sometimes I'm trying to get dressed for real life but I can't find anything I want to wear because it's all like crop tops and stuff that like I wouldn't wear out of the house but I would wear for like a YouTube video because it looks cute on camera. So yeah I might split them up. Actually I might end up using some of the drawers for like crop tops and stuff because they'd go better in a drawer rather than hung up. I don't know but you're going to keep seeing this room when we continue this process. For now though I need to tidy up some of this stuff. Oh my goodness. I just dropped my camera. I turned around to turn off the little light I was using and my camera just like toppled forward because this tripod's crap and smashed on the ground. Not literally smashed. It hasn't actually smashed but I feel like the lens went a bit funny for a second. Fingers crossed it's not screwed. This might be the point where we say go to part two which you know if you're watching this as it's uploaded if you're early Hold tight for a couple of days, but otherwise I will link the video down below for you. You'll be able to find it down there. Thanks for watching so far. Thanks.